A third commonly used argument against steady state and in favour of economic growth is that you can't fix environmental problems and you can't redistribute wealth to the poorest and lift people out of poverty if the economy is not growing. How would you respond to that? Well, the idea that we need growth both to deal with problems of, um, of, of distribution, to deal, in other words, to deal with the problem of poverty, to lift people up, and that we need growth to invest in green technology and so on, this argument is problematic. What growth has done has been to disguise uh, inequality. While the cake is growing, everybody feels they're, they're getting a bit more year on year. Uh, or at least the, on, on average people feel they're getting more year on year. When you slow down, then you've got to focus on redistribution. Uh, so in effect, growth has been used as a way of avoiding the need to think about problems of, uh, of distribution. But the, the problem is deeper than that, because if we look at it on a... Well, if, if we look at it even, even on a national level, we know that for, for the last uh, 20, 30 years, the degree of inequality in, in, in our country has increased. Has increased. Um, and you only have to look at the, um, the timeline for the, for the Gini coefficient, for example. Uh, through the Thatcher years, through the Labour years, through the, uh, and, that, and now with the, the, the current austerity, um, inequality has, has been increasing. So growth has not delivered. And if you then look at it on a global level, um, basically, Karl Marx was right. There is pauperisation of the um, of the poorest, um, of the, the the most vulnerable, the most exposed. We don't see so much of that in this country, but on an international scale, that is exactly what is happening. So that growth, because it's based on investment and competition and the um, the quickening of of the pace of exploitation and extraction, it damages damages the planet and it damages people. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add uh, to what we've discussed so far? There is probably a, a, a real problem with, with steady state that I think we need to, to own up to and that's that much of the work done on it is theoretical and what we need to do very um, rapidly and, and very firmly is to concretise a lot of the ideas and we need to start delivering that, the, the, um, those policies locally, um, regionally, nationally, internationally and we live locally, we can start working on that locally we need to do that through uh, relocalisation of our economies anyway and that's a good place to start to begin to demonstrate and take the first steps to the post-growth future that we are already now in